Steve Smith! I can't believe it! I think when it was all said and done, he had had over 40 offers from major D1 schools. You're the Gatorade National Football Player of the Year. Congratulations. Uh, it was my mom at first, for sure. You know, I didn't even know how to talk to these college coaches. I was so nervous. Jake's a phenomenal receiver. He's uh, He's got the speed, he's got the cuts, he's, he knows all his plays, his routes. Uh, Coach Carrington's done a great job in terms of recruiting. He did come by um, the other day with Coach Dellingham. You know, he, he really said that Jake's in a spot now where he, he thinks he's back to where he is. The injuries are overcome and um, he's ready and excited to see what Jake can do on the field. His freshman year, 2015, I was actually the head freshman coach at that time when Jay came in, and he was just special, right? He was playing at a, at a different level, and he was really a, a man amongst boys at that time. People kind of really didn't uh, get the notoriety that he may have uh, deserved simply because he had a concussion that year and he happened to break his arm in that game. But then come his junior year where he was healthy for that full season, he really exploded on the scene, had a positive impact on on the team and uh, really had a memorable year and you know kind of made him a legend around here at Notre Dame Prep. Just, I love the coaching staff at Texas. I love Coach Herman. USC has always kind of been a dream school of mine and you know LA and Southern California is kind of hard to beat too so you know it's gonna be a tough choice for him. His unbelievable tracking skills and ball skills, his high hand coordination is unbelievable. Uh, part of the reasons why so many colleges uh, were so attracted to him simply because the film doesn't lie. About his relationship with Brian Harrington, what do you know about the relationship? Well, just that that they're close, obviously instrumental in terms of getting him over at uh, ASU. You know, Brian and him have been together for many years and he's kind of followed, uh, Jake's kind of followed where he's been. That just shows the amount of trust that they have. And what do you think all that uh, you know, unfortunate setbacks that you mentioned uh, made him tougher mentally. Yeah, well, I think it, it translated to once he ended up going to college. You know, he, he had a great freshman year at Texas, and then the circumstances with COVID, injuries, he had to battle through a lot of things. And again, he just was able to persevere through it. And now that he's back at ASU uh, and at full strength, again, it just shows his der his determination, his ability to overcome adversity, and really shows what a competitor he is. Ever talk to you, coach, should I transfer to SC? Coach, should I transfer to Arizona State? No, you know what, when it comes down to it, I think the big thing that Jake always knew is that he's gonna have to make the choices that were best for him and in his best interest. I think the biggest thing that we always talked about was understanding that at one point football was gonna end. So it's always important to think of the future and what was gonna provide him with the best opportunity, not only for him in the long term, but uh, moving forward if he ever wanted a family, for his family in the long term. And what was, I think one of the things that will always stand out to me would have been his junior year. We were in the quarterfinals. It was overtime uh, against Queen Creek. We were down by three, a touchdown won it. Uh, you get the ball at the 10-yard line, and it was first down. And I was thinking of calling a back shoulder fade, and I said, I'm thinking of throwing a back shoulder fade. And, you know, my quarterback at the time, Kylan Weisler, who's at Weber State, did a great job for us. He's like, you really think so, coach? You think you think we should go for it on the first play? And then Jake just said, looked at him, he said, Kylan, throw me the ball. We're going to win the game right now. And he threw him the ball, and it was a back shoulder. Kylan threw a perfect pass, and Jake just caught it. And ice cold, made it look easy, and scored the winning touchdown. We advanced the the state semis that year, and actually ended up making it to the state championship. But that's that's one memory that always stick out for me with Jake. My name is Parker Zellers. I coach the defensive line here at Notre Dame, and I graduated here in 2013. Slater, he, you know, obviously he's my, you know, he's my little cousin. Um, you know, he's kind of like a second or third brother. To me. In high school, uh, essentially since his freshman year, he was the number one long snapper in the nation.